Hello, hello, and welcome. This is Ascended Stars, Ali Jade here with you, giving you your Sagittarius April forecast. I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Ascended Stars, Ali Jade. I really appreciate you, all the newcomers and new subscribers. It's been awesome. Uh, so welcome. So let's see what's going on. I've already pulled or some Oracle cards for you, my dears, for love and guidance. But we don't know what the status is for the month of April. Let's check out the forecast and see what um, what's to come or has come for some of you. Okay. Uh, these these messages can be mirrored, uh, reflecting somebody else's emotions as well. And um, just take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. All my information is at the show more box below. Okay. We have two major arcanas. Uh... Yeah, and I do have to mention that the major news this this uh, month for you guys is Jupiter going retrograde, which is your ruling planet, okay? Um, and actually, this is really reflective of, of that energy in a way to me now that I, I'm putting the pieces together. Um, you currently have the King of Pentacles, and he's the businessman, okay? This is an Earth element, so... Um, in the business world right now, for some of you, I'm talking to some of you out there who are financially doing quite well, um, stabilized, okay, and you probably feel very good uh, in regards to your money situation. Well, that's going to turn around pretty soon. <laughs> I hate to tell you. Um, and for some of you, it may not. I mean, Jupiter retrograde, ha people some have, have it in their chart, and that's when they become more... Uh, it, it's beneficial to them. It's 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 more of of their um, of a of a of a, I guess of like a window. Of what I see is like a slide window opens and they can poop pass through because it's retrograde. It's for them. So it's interesting how you have to look at your chart. It's a reverse R. Okay, but um, I don't know, Sag. I don't know. Are, are, are you guys addicted to something right now? You have something that you need to give up, something that needs to be uh, addressed, something. This is coming down the pipeline, okay? Because Jupiter retrograde is about going inward. And look, and uh, the two, the, the ones that have the couples in the tarot, and you got them the lovers and the devil. So, Sag, what's coming up right now in the, the next probably four months, I'm telling you because this is the energy retrograde right before the retrograde. So, some of you are in a karmic situation. You have to make a choice. And some of you are heading straight into the dragon's mouth. Okay? I do have to say that. And um, it may seem like a wish come true right now. But down the pipeline, you'll have to make a choice about this relationship um, to integrate it even further into your life. It may you might see the warning signs, but not heed, you know, not heed the warning signs is what I'm, I'm feeling. You're kind of going into it full throttle with this fire energy of Aries. And um, you might be compromising your money situation. Let's put it this way. You might be compromising your money situation. Um, you might travel to go see someone that seems like they might be a dream come true. They might be a Gemini. Um, very, very, you're polar, opposite sign. So they're, they're really drawn to them. There's this full magnetism. Okay. So this is coming out like a love reading, yeah, in a way, but... Um, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're filled with passion. Okay, so there's a time right now where you're just so passionate. You what you want is is yours. Okay, passion. 
some of you are not really thinking with the right correct head this is thinking with the correct head this is not really thinking with the correct head okay you're gonna have this this tells me the energy the, the meat and potatoes of your message is focus on your business focus on the future focus on what's going to get you money be I, I tell you be selfish even though you guys are kind of egocentric uh, i hate to tell you yeah you know the big the big sages you are but um even I, mean, I, I hate to tell you as a virgo to be ego to be uh selfish but you're gonna have to be with your money okay with your business yeah at this at this point in time there's something eating away something eating away at your business something eating away at you financially too um this is also a forewarning where if you know you have a business you will have to take that Capricornian energy of being more disciplined, more persistent, more um, on your game, you know, in your face, on it. You you know, you're going to have to kick it up, right? Kick it up. There's an, another interesting energy of, you're, you know, you're waiting for the harvest to come and and this comes with under the alignment of, of this energy here so it's like you put energy into some also it comes back to the love it's like you put energy into something that is really uh diminishing returns okay if you guys do accounting <laughs> diminishing returns is you know you the your return will never be coming it diminishes every time it's your what you put in is not what you get out so and it's in it's this karmic relationship it's this karmic situation it's this you're tied you're bound you feel obligated to it and you're always waiting for the out for that for that outcome you're always waiting when am i going to reap the rewards what am i you know, you're never going to reap the rewards you know you're going to have to just act more mature be the mature one come from a higher a higher place you know rise above it and say you know what this this situation will may never give me the return i want you know here he is looking at the past i want the return and here he is looking at the future saying okay i'm just gonna hold my cup take the lessons be you know walk away with whatever i need to walk away with um because this return seems to be associated with this very toxic karmic situation which y'all going back to like you're all going back to this like whew, like wow i want to get in there i want some of that <laughs> sorry for the side effects but you know it's not good it's not healthy okay so some of you are going and you're going to be trapped in a four month um situation okay august is when it it uh clears up again and your your planet goes direct again your um in direct motion forward motion right now it's stationary pretty soon it's coming up to be stationary okay i'm doing this on sunday the 7th you got three days push on through all your paperwork jupiter has to do with corporations you know the big government all that big pharma i hear but i don't know why i'm hearing that but um medications anything that you need to push through push it through now and i hate to be putting these um readings out so late but mama's got to pay the rent so don't be harassing me about that because these things don't pay my rent uh yeah okay for some of you the clarity the clarity cards for the devil card sorry my hair is like <laughs> sorry my hair's everywhere i shed hair okay um the devil is your heart is with this this young woman this young woman that arouses you and you want to you want to go on this journey ultimately you want this journey with this young woman okay um you're making that choice it would be a dream come true maybe you want to go on a trip with her you know like it'd be a dream to take her on a trip right something like that <sighs> okay let's look at the eight of wands your fire energy Come on. okay I'm gonna use the reverse deck for that one eight of wands come on tell me what's going on with Sag why is it eight of wands here ah! <laughs> I'm so 
sorry this is so funny i get the eight of wands reversed for the eight of wands clarity that's crazy i love it oh my god okay um i'm gonna take a look at what their eight of wands is because it seems like i mean i know the eight of wands meaning but my god like that one came out okay but i gotta find it here we go eight all right so let's see what this means this is saying something you sent out into the world is coming back at you if you have been careful to only put out energy and activity that you would like to receive then you don't have anything to worry about but if you have behaved unethically whether through word or deed fix it fast or Pegasus will fix it for you Wow Jupiter retrograde in Sag darlings that's telling you get your karma straight get it on Wow um god man that is really deep <laughs> that's really deep all right i don't know what to say i'm like out of stump for words because that is so freaking deep like jupiter retrograde is saying to if you put it some bad stuff out there some bad juju you're gonna have to take care of it because it's coming back at you and this is look how i'm holding this this these cards man what you put out you're gonna get and that's this is the next four months okay now if you're in a situation like this this is icky for some of you sticky icky um but i feel like some of you are going into it you haven't even entered it yet like you're going into it so uh yeah this is really interesting energy i'd love to read for you and i have a special down at the show box more below um the main energies here do have to deal with toxicity um career a choice in love to integrate somebody more further into your life into getting to know you opening really opening yourself up really um expanding your heart but i always i'm going to tell you something sad to me the capricorn card is the know thyself card okay if you know thyself nobody can mm, with you all right you know what i mean so it's a constant check-in check-in you know again this is a major theme where is my joy where do i find my joy what makes me joyful where is my heart the most joyful um not in unhealthy situations that you're going to want to get out of you know in the near future not impulsiveness not because it seems like really beautiful on the outside it may not be you have to come from a mature place which makes mature decisions okay um that's all i can tell you at this point in time so let's go into the oracles here uh well no let's go into the love excuse me with some oracle stuff here and uh, some some of the tea no, what am i saying some of the um lenormand stack as well and then we got three of the power of love cards and then i got this one so let's see this is good fortune i am open to receive all the goodness the universe has to offer me at all times and in all ways that's beautiful whoops Woo. it's a beautiful white stone um, it's a good fortune stone. So you guys are hanging tough there. All right. Let's uh, get that like that. Let's see what the love is. Passion. There's a lot of passion. There we, there we go. Um, no doubt about it. This is a real passionate time for some of you guys. Uh, you're going to be reignited with somebody, perhaps, you know, that you felt a lot for, but the universe somehow um didn't make it happen and now with a retrograde energy they're coming back it seems like i feel that energy a lot allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so you guys are such a happy sign you know and whoever um is from the past is coming and remind rem re has mem good fond memories with you i'd say good definitely passionate 
Okay, so what do we have? Ooh, la la. Abundance. Love. In the heart. You might be doing a lot of activities from your home. Um, things that you love to do. And, or you might be going on a journey. You might be, uh, I feel like there's a home, there's a home, work from home situations. And that might not be love related, but it just seems like the home is like super important at these coming, uh, this coming month for you. Responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. So, um, I feel like you will be very loving and very, ex you know, you'll be able to express love because it's going inward and you're about, um, a lot of love. You know, you guys have ruled a heart chakra pretty much, um, that big heart expansion. So any, any, any blockages with that? I don't, I think it'll be a very good time. You'll be able to feel more of other people's pain. This is something that y'all have a hard time with. Um, but I think you've been pre being prepped and prepped and prepped with Mercury and Pisces energy of how, you know, emotions are sticky, icky, and they're worth the ride. They're worth the journey. They're always worth the, the sweat and tears. Um, and being more conscious of like how your energy affects others. And we have cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. And I kind of feel this is going on with a lot of fire signs um, in different aspects, you know, to the fire sign. But uh, I think you guys kind of like fire signs tend to go through people real fast and they just want to know like want to have like numbers in in like oh you know like i know you or whatever but i feel it's like you know we all have to take the time to, to really get to appreciate each other so that the cooperation takes time yeah so that's kind of where we're going with that and then let's do some more i picked three of the uh oh no two of the energy deck the thinking woman so it's time to really think about your future ladies. Um, I'm talking to my femmes, uh, fe uh, females out there, most definitely. This is an inward time. I have no doubt that my queen of wands are going to be fierce once they come out of this on August. Uh, meanwhile, it's just be in that boat in, in a, this kind of, it might be emotional. Yes, I do feel like it will be emotional for you guys, but y'all got to think your way out of it. Be smart, okay? Um... I really do feel that for, for many of my beautiful and young, I feel like the young ladies are so strong and fierce. Yeah, there's going to be an energy where you feel like you're all tied up because Jupiter is not going to be giving you too much. You're going to have to make extra effort. But once you put that effort and you put everything aligned like dominoes, um, let's say writing, let's say building, uh, building the skill of acting, let's say... Um, like I love watching these gymnasts you know let's say you know getting strength training you know and, and being able to do those hoops and those jumps and those ugh, amazing physical things um, conditioning you know in any way shape or form to get you to where the next level so it doesn't mean like you'll be tied up my loves it just means that you just got to prep right now it's for to get ready for go time okay like when you go to the olympics you are training all the time so this is just consider it that way it's not a, it's not a bad thing actually surrender to this energy okay it's going to be really difficult you have a lot of passion here but you're going to have to funnel it you're going to have to plan it you're going to have to really take action on how you're going to move um with your with with this energy with feeling tied up right so there, there's always a way of, around it okay there always is a, a way around it if you can't go through the front door darlings you go through the back door or the window hell yeah okay look time out time out time out so this is time out time for you guys i'm telling you i'm telling you so um energy is not going to be moving that fast what you put out, you're going to get. If you want fast bucks and fast things, you're going to reap what you sow from this point on, my dears. So I love you. Take care. Hit me up for a reading. I do Snapchat too. Um, so, 
and I'll, 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 uh, I'll take care of you. All right. Much love and light. Bye-bye.